are moving and grooving, grooving and moving, shaking and quaking on a Friday. TGIF edition of the show in my own worst of podcast, hottest form of Crimson Tide football. <clears throat> News, notes, and information, excuse me. Yours truly, Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama Magazine. And we get into one, Jaleel Billingsley at the tight end position. Well, Alabama return, is he the next O.J. Howard? Is he the next Irv Smith for Alabama football? And uh, in years past, under Nick Saban, Alabama has been known to have that really solid, dependable tight end. Now, I know in the early years of Saban, it was more so blocking tight ends versus pass-catching ones. When you talk Nick Walker, Travis McCall, Brian Bogler, you had some of those more so blocking guys. But you also had some pass-catching guys. Brad Smelly was really good. Michael Williams was really good. And then you bring in O.J. Howard, Irv Smith Jr. So it's been... A strong mixture of both. Colin Peake was good. Preston Dow was good. Hale Hinches could catch a touchdown pass here and there. So, I mean, you get my point. So, but in terms of having that strong combination, that mixture of not only being a great inline blocker, but also catching the ball on the inline, being flexed out wide, running routes, bringing in passes, opening up more of the field and be that security blanket for the quarterback, giving that signal caller another viable option, is Jaleel Billingsley the next one to do that? Here is somebody that's coming into his sophomore year, six foot four, 228 pounds out of Chicago, and a guy that this past season had one catch for 19 yards against Mississippi State, but it was a catch to where he caught the ball from Tua Tagovailoa. He immediately turned, exploded upfield. He uh, not exploded going getting down the field. He ex- he uh, ran over a defensive back going out of bounds. Really finished the play with ferocity. And uh, this is a person that an athlete that I remember. Devontae Smith spoke to reporters during the middle portion of the 2019 season, and he talked about how this is nothing new for Billingsley. He naturally does things special in practice. He naturally does something special every practice, every drill, every warm-up, every station. So he is normally one to cause people's heads to turn. So he's one that can make those big time plays. He's one that can give you that viable production. It's this year, can he really break out and sort of give Mac Jones and give Bryce Young when Young enters games that big target in the middle of the field or that big target on a post route or a slant route or a seam route or a crossing route. Just flash the number 19 Let the quarterback feel your presence, know your presence, so he can get you the football. But Jaleel Billingsley, very, very athletic. A guy that's got the size. A guy that has the route running prowess and the capability. I remember Nick Saban talked about he's getting better in uh, every sense of being a tight end, in every sense of being a viable, viable option on the field. And to me, sometimes I go back to – what O.J. Howard could have been if the tie would have used him more than what it did. And no offense to Lane Kiffin, he did unleash Howard in the 2015 college football playoff against Michigan State. Of course, the national championship game against Clemson where he went off for five catches, 206 yards, and two touchdowns. But you almost have to wonder if Howard would have been targeted more in the 2015 regular season prior to the postseason, the numbers could have been bigger, right? Well, 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 I guess him not being targeted as much allow him to go into the league with not much wear and tear on his body. I get that. But selfishly speaking, I would have liked to have seen more of O.J. Howard being targeted. Now, Irv Smith Jr., that was a different story. Tua found ways to hook up with Smith throughout the entire 2018 season as Irv was one of five to six guys that had over 20 receptions. He had 42 
uh, to be exact, for 711 yards. So 704, yeah, yeah, for 711 yards, had about seven touchdown receptions in the 2018 season. So Irv was not cheated at all. Irv got the football, whether it was in the middle of the field, whether it was on a seam route running down the field, whether it was a slant pattern, a, a timing route, a crossing route, Irv Smith got the football. So that's what I want to see from Steve Sarkeesian in terms of game planning for one General Billingsley, finding ways to get him the ball because as much as we would like to see you guys being the Alabama fans, me personally and media, as much as, as, much as we would like to see Terrell Shaver step up, and hopefully he does step up. As much as we like to see John Meachie step up as that third option at receiver, or a <clears throat> Xavier Williams step up, a Slade Bolden step up, or one of these freshman guys in this 2020 group here. Keep your eyes on Billingsley. It would be nice to see a tight end kind of become that third guy. Because what the receivers Alabama has – and with the pass-catching abilities of Najee Harris, on top of that, Trey Sanders has the ability to also catch the ball out of the, out of the backfield. It would be nice to go back to having that tight end in the middle of the field, having that tight end running that seam route, having that tight end working the slants, working the crossing patterns, working the timing routes, just having that tight end to bring the full balance into the picture. So... Jaleel Billingsley, keep your eyes on him in the upcoming season, the sophomore. He could be the next O.J. Howard. He could legitimately be the next Irv Smith. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm rolling my cards. I'm rolling my poker chips to the side of Jaleel Billingsley. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, you want the best in news, notes, information, and content on the Alabama Crimson Tide. This is very simple, very easy to do. You download the Touchdown Alabama Magazine app. You can get this for your iPhone if you're rocking Team Apple, the iPhone App Store, Google Play Store if you just so happen to have the Android phone. For the podcast options, if you like iTunes or Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Overcast, FM or iHeartRadio, we got you covered right here on TDA. If the good and gracious Lord sees fit people, I will return on Monday to continue the conversation that is Alabama football. But until next time, folks, I leave you as always. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, value, appreciate your husbands, children. Get the work done. Find ways to legitimately now not be bored. Get those three hearty meals a day, those three great laughs a day. Protect yourself. Protect the loved ones around you. Until next time, folks, I'm Stephen M. Smith, and this has been In My Own Words. Thank you for watching Touchdown Alabama Magazine's YouTube channel. To continue to get the best of the Alabama football content, subscribe here and turn on your notifications to stay connected with the hottest shows covering your Crimson Tide.